I mean, I'll, I'll talk about the Capital One experience right now if you guys want. I'll tell you about the interview. Like, it, there was no phone screen. There was no online assessment. It was straight, like, I had to do an on-site for an internship. I'm from Seattle. I had to fly to the East Coast in Washington, D.C. I stayed at a hotel. I did my interview. By the way, I got to the hotel. They gave me my key. I went to my room. I opened the door, and there was already somebody inside the room. Can you imagine that? It was weird enough for me opening the door. Imagine being in a hotel room and somebody just walks in like, what the fuck? This was like a high class hotel too. You know, I went down and they gave me a different key, whatever. I went into my room and then I was like paranoid. I was like, what the hell? Is somebody going to walk in on me too? Like what kind of shit is going on here? Yo, yeah, that was a weird experience. That was a really weird experience. Anyways, so eventually I got to the interview day, right? There was like a bus actually that took like 10 people. We were all interviewing at Capital One that day. We were in the bus. We were like talking to each other like, hey, what college do you go to? People were like talking to each other around me and they're like, oh, I go to Brown University. Oh, I go to Harvard University. They're all wearing like suits. Like literally they're wearing full suits. I'm sitting there with my jeans. And I have a, I had a button up shirt and my jeans and I'm wearing Nikes. Everybody had like dress shoes and I'm wearing laced up Nikes. And I'm just like, damn, I just didn't know. And I, I felt so embarrassed, dude. I felt so embarrassed. That was my first like on-site interview. That was my first interview ever. I was so embarrassed. And then, okay, whatever. I was like, okay, fine, whatever. I'm still going to pass the interview. I get into the interview room. Like my interviewer walks in, he gives me the question. Actually, I don't even remember the question. I'm pretty, I'm like 99% sure. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but it was vaguely, it was an easy binary search tree leak code problem. And this isn't Google. This is Capital One. This is Capital One. But yeah, it was, it, I, don't, I don't know what the question was, but it was an easy binary search tree question. And the optimal solution for it was a big O of N solution. You should only visit every node once. And like, as soon as I saw it, my mind went blank. I was writing the code on like pen and paper. Like my hand was literally shaking. I was so nervous. My hand was shaking. I could not concentrate at all. And I was like, okay, fuck. I can't think of the optimal solution. My mind just went blank. And I was like, okay, I'll just do the brute force solution. And I, 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 I was trying to like code up the brute force solution on pen and paper as the guy was like watching me. And he was very, he was very nice. And there were a few times where I had like really, really sloppy bugs, mostly because I was nervous. And I think the guy could tell that I was just nervous because logically, like I knew what was going on. Like I explained the solution. He's like, yeah, that'll work. So start coding it. And yeah, I think he cut me some slack and he would point out the mistakes like, oh, did you actually mean to do this? And I was like, oh, yeah, sorry. So he was really nice about it. But I was like, damn, I bombed so hard. And there was like two more interview rounds. And I think I did better on those two. There were three rounds in total, but I thought because of the first round I'd failed. I was taking the flight home that same day and I was so sad. I was so depressed. I was like, damn, I, this was like the only interview I had and now I failed. And like the next day I got a call from the recruiter. I picked up the phone and I was like, hey, how's it going? And they're like, hey, congratulations. You passed the interview. Like this is your offer. This is how much money you're going to make. Like afterwards I was like, holy crap. I just like fell into my bed. And when I say bed, I don't mean actual bed. I had a mattress like on the floor. I fell into the mattress on the floor. And I was like, oh my God, I did it. And how much did they pay? So it was a 10 week internship. And I think I made like 19, I think I made 18,000 in a 10 week internship, 18 or 19,000 in a 10 week internship. So it was a lot of money. I think like probably like 50 bucks an hour or something like that. Like per month, it was like 7,500. So like for me, like the only job I had before that was making like $13 an hour or something like that as like a math tutor. So I was like, damn, like to me, I was like, this is life changing money. That's the story, I guess.